Hello, everybody. Welcome to yet another edition of Paradigm Shift in Educational Comedy. On this one, we ask the question, how active or not is anonymous with Sue, or TSU as it's called? And we attempt to answer that question as accurately as possible. We do not have all the facts on this inquiry, so please do keep in mind that the levels of accuracy or inaccuracy of this assessment is pure speculation at this point. And so now we switch to infinite Google portal of quantumness. Okay. And I've been uh, making some graphics to this effect here. Um, TSU is the number one grassroots weapon against the globalist wealth consolidation agenda. Be a digital Jedi, join TSU and join the fight. So far that's got 24 likes and three shares. This one has 97 likes and 16 shares. TSU is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It is a weapon of war. There's a war being waged against you, whether you know it or not. TSU is the number one grassroots weapon against the globalist wealth consolidation agenda. Complacency is consent. Join the fight. And then this one has um, 76 likes, 24 shares. <laughs> It's got the little, you know, piss on thing with the all seeing eye and TSU and so on. The so called elites, the globalists, the banksters, the Illuminati, or whatever euphemism you wish to slap onto the top 1%, fear TSU and rightly so. It is a threat to their agenda for consolidation of power. TSU shares 90% of its ad revenue with its users. Well, investing its 10% into larger markets. The 90% is divided into four parts. You and three levels below you. It is not a pyramid scheme of infinite impossible path. I meant to say mass, but you know, path kind of fits equally as well. Different, different paths, different destinations, different trajectories. Um, the dollar is simply being divided into a total of five pieces. Simple as that. This is done to make TSU a cooperative system that gets people into the habit of understanding that helping your neighbor is helping yourself. Signing people up under you is not about getting rich quick. It is about fighting against our enslavement. Begin the process of taking back your power. Sign up here. And of course, I have my URL on there, tsu.co forward slash paradigm shift ox for you. After you've created your account, edit this image and replace my TSU link with yours and then share your version of this image together. We can make a difference. Um, as far as I've been able to tell, and obviously it's it can be hard to tell Who's actually in anonymous? Who's just being a poser? And then, of course, there's, you know, malignant narcissist opportunists out there that try to just slap the anonymous logo onto themselves so that people come to them and go, ooh, you're an anonymous. You're so great. You're so grand. Ooh. And it's just a big e ego stroke thing. So, but at the very least, the anonymous um, sentiment seems to be very strong on TSU. You see a lot of TSU profiles with anonymous theme stuff, and I, I figure most likely, um, you know, at least one out of every ten people who have an anonymous themed profile is actually in anonymous, whereas the other nine are just supporters or possibly posers or narcissists or whatever. Um, obviously, depending on how they act, um, you, it's easier to make that determination. Um, if someone is acting like an arrogant prat and going, oh, look at me, I'm an anonymous, blah, 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 I'm so big and bad, whatever, then, you know, obviously that's a red flag that, you know, the person is probably full of shit if they're out there being a braggart going, look at me, I'm better than you, yada, blah, 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 poop. Okay. Also, to the best of my understanding, 
because the question arose with me of, wait a minute, if there's a lot of actual anons on TSU, and obviously the way um, TSU financial ethics work, it is a threat to exactly you know what you see here on this on this little poster because the top one percent are trying to take all of the wealth from everybody else and give it to themselves, eliminating the middle class. So then you only have a poverty class and the super ultra actually technically a fraction of one percent, not even one percent. <clears throat> so this is what they're trying to do. So they're sucking all the wealth up to them and. You know, things like TSU are obviously dangerous to them because it then takes the wealth from the top and brings it back down to the middle class level again. And if this TSU tool is used wisely, um, can be used to start, you know, expanding and stabilizing the middle class again. Again, it's a tool like anything else. It's not a savior. There's no guarantee that TSU can do exactly what I just said. Um, but if this tool is used wisely and by enough people, then yes, there is a pretty good, strong, solid probability that um, this could happen. Could. So, if I know this, Obviously, Anonymous knows this, so it brings the question, why hasn't Anonymous made any videos on this? Obviously, there are official Anonymous YouTube channels. Obviously, they make videos. Obviously, you know, they put the videos up. Everything from, you know, they refer to everything as an operation, usually, except for a few videos where they're just trying to make a general point. Like, um, you know, there, there was a point they made a while back, um, right before 2012, you know, stating that, you know, 2012 isn't going to be the end of the world, this and that. It's just, you know, marking the beginning of, of the end of the old paradigm and moving into the new and so on and so forth, which, you know, I, I liked it that Anonymous, you know, pointed that out. And obviously, when Anonymous makes a video, people tend to take it seriously because obviously Anonymous is mainstream now. I mean, you know, they're talked about all over the mainstream and independent news and everything else. So the big question is, if TSU is such a powerful tool, why hasn't Anonymous made a video about it yet? Why hasn't Anonymous made, made a, a video saying the things that the little posters that I have made say? And I have an opinion on that. I can't claim it as the absolute facts, but I have an opinion on that. Society is still trained right now to think, and, and even even the truth movement here, even, you know, I mean, I'm talking about all of us. I'm not just talking about the so-called sheeple or whatever. Um, society has us all trained into thinking that if we're suffering as slaves, working for our enemy, and fucking ourselves over, then that is a valid, legitimate form of, of conducting yourself appropriately in society. That, that means you're not a bum. That means you're not trying to exploit anybody. That means you're an honest, decent person. And of course, it makes no fucking sense. It's like saying, oh, I'm stabbing myself in the leg to remain healthy, yet this is the dichotomy we're put into. So the idea of making money through things like um, TSU or making money through the YouTube Partners Program, actually making money doing what you love and what you enjoy doing and having an ease and flow about it. People are more terrified of their success than they are of their failure. They're used to failure. They're comfortable with that. Failure is within their comfort zone. They're used to it. They know how to navigate it. It's nothing new. But the idea of success is this strange, new, alien, freaking universe. Um, and because there's this despotism dichotomy at work here, there are a lot of opportunists who, um, you know, put out get-rich-quick schemes and things like that and try to con and scam and market people. 
And in my opinion, seeing as TSU has been generous enough to share the bulk of the revenue with its user base, I think that there's a possibility that Anonymous might be kind of feeling the stigma about it. You know, like, oh, maybe we shouldn't talk about this just yet. Maybe the masses aren't quite ready for us to talk about this because the last thing we need is people saying, oh, Anonymous is just, you know, trying to uh, sell us something. Oh, they're backed by multi-level marketing groups and, you know, whatever the fuck this this and that. I think they, they, they might possibly be concerned that that sort of finger might possibly be pointed to them. And yes, Mr. Tate, I'm almost done with this. I will freaking get to you in a moment. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he has no idea that I'm on a hangout right now. Oh, well, technically, I'm not on a hangout with anybody in particular, but I am obviously with you all. But, you know, I'm going to wrap this up as quickly as possible. That's why I'm not pausing and answering and inviting him on to it and so on and so forth, because I just want to wrap this up as quickly as possible. Anyway, so seeing as I think it is highly probable that Anonymous might have that concern about it that, oh, well, we don't want anybody to have that misunderstanding about us because, you know, that could open up a whole can of worms and et cetera, et cetera. Um, if Anonymous pitched it the same way I'm making these graphics, hey, this is a tool for humanity. It is just a tool. It's not, not something that's going to make it rain money, but, you know, the more people who are using this tool to suck more of that money down from the top 1% and bring it back down to the middle class, that's going to be damned helpful. You know, that's that's going to to help in the intention of bringing the world back into a state of freedom out of a state of despotism. And if they talk about it in that context, I think it will go over very well. I don't think people will think they're being slimy and scammy and whatever, as long as they maintain on this context and don't talk about any other aspect of TSU and they keep it on this context, I think that a lot of people would be very receptive. And just as a little tidbit of proof that the globalists do see it as a huge threat, um, Mark Zuckerberg had their hissy, his hissy fit and, you know, banned it from, um, from Facebook, and it was a hard ban. Um, it was one of those, one of those bans that you yeah, hardly ever see to where they, they don't just simply block you from sharing links or say, oh, this can't be shared because blah, 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 or you need to change the description of this image to allow it to be shared, but they actually deleted content, you know, deleted posts, deleted pictures, deleted videos, so, so on and so on, deleted entire groups, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so Zuckerberg saw this as a huge threat. Um, I would imagine that Sebastian Zubchuk, CEO of TSU, had a you know a lawsuit going or something. And obviously, um, TSU is unblocked on Facebook now, so apparently, um, you know, Sebastian uh, won the fight on that one. But yeah, to anybody who might be an anonymous that's uh, listening to this, I mean, hey, only only the anons could tell me whether or not I'm right or wrong. May, maybe they've got a video in the works. Maybe they've got a not planned. Maybe this, maybe that. I don't know. I'm not them. I'm not trying to say that anything I'm saying is absolute truth or whatever. I'm just sharing a perspective that, you know, if anonymous were to make a video about this and here's how they could they could make it, how they could, you know, pitch it to the public, um, that it would be very beneficial, and I provided an opinion as to why I think that possibly they haven't done that yet, and that's purely just my opinion, so please do not take that as a fact. I am not an anonymous. I do not speak for anonymous. Please only take that as my opinion. So with that said, that's really all that I have to say about this. So I hope you all have a very awesome day, night, morning, whatever it is over by you, and I will catch you later.